Currently on Game Pass right now is Dead Island 2. I'm Dream Mace, and welcome to Dead Island 2 Final Review. I know many of you viewers are of age, uh, but I do want to give you an adult uh, content warning. There is excessive violence and extreme gore in this game, as you'll see in just a couple seconds. So I'm going to give you a game description of what the game's all about, in case you'd like to play it for yourself there. Uh, then I will give my own personal uh, feelings and um, thoughts about the game um, as I have played through the entirety of the game to bring you this final review. And finally, I'll follow it up by a uh, score out of 10 as a final review for you guys. The much-loved zombie saga is back. Dead Island 2 is a thrilling first-person action RPG with the unique formula of horror, dark humor, and over-the-top zombie slang. Uh, Dead Island 2 is a 2023 action role-playing game developed by Dumpster Studios and published by Deep Silver. It is a sequel to the 2011 video game Dead Island, and the third major installment in the Dead Island series. Set about 15 years after the events of Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, Dead Island 2 differentiates itself from its predecessors by taking place in the city of Los Angeles, which has been under quarantine due to a zombie outbreak. The game was released in 21st of April 2023 for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. At the beginning of the game, players have to select from one of six playable characters as their avatar. Each of them has their own unique skills and abilities. They also have to choose with defensive abilities of learning to block hostile attacks or dodge them. Players can pick up uh, ranged and melee weapons. Each weapon can be further customized with mods to add elemental effects and perks. Unlike previous games in the series, Dead Island 2 does not have a skill tree. Instead, it uses a deck building system which allows players to alter their character's strengths and weaknesses. The skill deck sorts cards into four different categories, Abilities, Survivor, Slayer, and Newman. Ability cards unlock new active abilities for players, some of which can be used during the Fury mode, which allows players to unleash devastating attacks on enemies for the brief period of time. I chose with my character based off of the cinematic you can see playing behind you. Uh, I chose Jacob, uh, anybody that's going to climb onto the wheelbase of a plane as it's flying and uh, get into the plane that way, that's the player I want to play with. My first evening playing the game, uh, I was taken back by how excessively violent and gory the video game was. Uh, I don't know if it's just something in myself, but uh, I did uh, the next morning start the game and uh, was desensitized at that point uh, from the shock that I felt the night before. Uh, when going through my playthrough, I did in fact run into some bugs. Uh, one of them just got under my skin, drove me crazy. Uh, so when it comes to the bug uh, final review section, uh, you're gonna you're gonna get hit hard. Okay, final review time. Uh, I have five different categories I go through and give two points for each. So there was continuous challenge throughout the game, um, definitely with every zombie you ran into. Um, also, the zombies did level uh, with your level. So an area where it used to be level 1 zombies is not going to be level 1 zombies. You come through there at level 21, you're going to be facing level 21 zombies. So uh, two full points in this category. Uh, next category, interesting story and good end. Uh, there was, in fact, an interesting story and good end uh, to the game, so you're going to get a full two points in that category as well. Uh, third category, flexibility and useful rewards. Uh, flexibility with the card system that they had instead of talent tree. Uh, there was lots of flexibility. You could uh, do really whatever you wanted. Uh, useful rewards, uh, yes, they were there. Uh, however, as soon as you got them, they seemed to break or you would run out of ammunition, so... Uh, useful rewards, I'm only going to give you a half point for that, so one and a half uh, out of two in this category. Uh, fun and realism, uh, there was a certain amount of fun to it with the humor that was uh, portrayed through the game, and uh, the realism was over the top. Uh, they um, pushed realism down your throat with like blood splatter and everything, so um, you get a uh, full two points in this category. Um, so far, you're doing pretty good. Oh, wait, look, the next category is bugs, flaws, and defects. Uh, the trouble I had was uh, I kept on dying when I still had health left. Not once, not twice, not like ten times, just over and over and over again. I did pull out a few clips to show you guys in the background here as I'm uh, telling you about it, but 
That bug just drove me absolutely bonkers. The game's been out for a year, and you can't fix a bug where players are dying when they still have health left. Disgraceful. You're losing the full two points for that one. I don't care about any of the other bugs. That one really is wrong. It is wrong to the player. It is wrong to your game, and you got to stop doing that. So zero out of two for this category. Do I sound mad? Oh, yeah. I'm mad. So that's a uh, final score of seven and a half out of ten for Dead Island Two. Uh, it was uh, enjoyable for me until uh, I kept on dying when I still had health left. That drives a person absolutely bonkers. Uh, so that's why the score is so low. You lost two full points for that bug alone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, do hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell for future videos. Until next time, peace.